Oh, hey guys, this is Brendan. Welcome to a new episode of Do You Know Who Jason Siegel Is? I'm at a Salt and Peppa concert um, right now, but I wanted to tell you about my upcoming concert in Chicago this Saturday at the North Bar. Uh, get tickets at my website, brendanwalsh.com, or the North Bar, Chicago's website. It's Saturday, September 29th. That's this Saturday. It's tomorrow. Uh, so you guys, I want to see you there. I'm going to let anybody who uh, wants to can line up and uh, punch me in the stomach after the show. It's going to be a good time. North Bar, Chicago, this Saturday, September 29th. Get tickets, brendanwalsh.com. Enjoy my concert. Enjoy this episode of Do You Know Who Jason Siegel Is? I think we call Missouri. I don't know. Guys, I'm at a salt and pepper contest concert. I'm at a salt and pepper concert. It's not a contest. All right, enjoy this episode. Hopefully this all works. Everything sounds good. Yeah, push tell. it. Woo. It sounds good. I mean, nothing sounds static. Sounds Everything good. sounds good. To me. Uh, oh, you see, I've had. You know, I love the sound of this. Hello. Birds. And... Oh, hey, how's it going? This is Brendan. I'm here with Nick. Hey, how you doing? Good. Can you hear us? Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. Um, we were. Do you have any books on Missouri? Excuse me. The the state Missouri. Do you guys have any Missouri books? Or? Um, is there anything in particular that you're looking for? Um, like a travel book or... Just no, like... we kind of looked stuff up. Are there like any famous authors from Missouri or anything? Um, let me see. I might recommend crawling a library and narrowing down your search or... Oh, that's, look... that's not a bad idea. Okay. But we could, if we wanted to call Missouri, that's, that's okay with you. You're free to do whatever you would like. So we can do it. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything else I can help you with? Because I do have a line. Okay, you don't mind if we call Missouri, though? Nope. Okay, uh, how many you. people are in the line right now, just out of curiosity? Um, it's pretty early. Okay, thanks for calling. Have a good day. But there's nobody in line. Do you know who Jason is? We know. What was that? Was that were you cheering? Or? I hope nobody heard that. <laughs> I think everybody heard that. I need a sneeze button. <laughs> I'm sneeze you all the way through. Well, it's good to be back. Um, we that was a quick uh, a break with, from our advertisers and. That was a good, uh, that was right to the point. Again, I don't like lying. Uh, there's not a line at that bookstore. No, there's at no 1045 way. At 10.45 a.m. Literally no way there's a line there. There's no way. There's no way. But we're annoying. It's an annoying call to get, but yeah. that's, I'm fine with you just saying, hey guys, this is annoying. I'm going to hang up. Why are you bothering me? Yeah, just why do you have to make a invent, uh, say, okay, uh, you're stupid, bye. That's yeah. totally acceptable. Yeah. I mean, maybe. You're stupid, bye would actually be the best. Okay, this is stupid. Bye. I noticed you've got a, a long hair coming out of a mole. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yep, got a, looks like a spider. I killed a black widow the other day. I what, feel bad about what was it. What her name? Uh, it was Martin Luther King's wife. <laughs> Come on, guys. That's uh, unacceptable, that kind of joking, especially in this day and age. You can't be... Hey! Whoa, what is that? I think that's the, first time, that's the first time I ever set that off. That's weird. Usually it just kind of goes off on its own. I, I, I don't know. I can't find the... I can't find find what sets that off hmm. you know we've been doing a lot of talking about we have the door open today so it's uh 
You're going to hear a lot of people yelling. Yeah, we're because we're down in Times Square. and Here we are in Times Square, ladies and gentlemen. There's a st- busker. Yeah. Sounds like someone yelling there. You always get someone yelling there. You gotta let it. You got people doing drawings too. Oop. Doing drawings? Yeah, like drawing people's faces. Like a caricature yeah. of. Uh, we should get our picture drawn. Yeah. Uh, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. This is. Do you know who Jason Siegel is? Theater of the mind. Mind. Make a mind. quick announcement if you don't mind. Okay, go ahead. What's that, Nick? I'd like to make an announcement. Oh my God, we're in the theater. (laughs) (laughs) We're in the theater of the mind. Uh, I'd like to make an announcement. There's no... Uh, It's a different trumpet. (laughs) All the sound effects have gotten changed around. I don't know who the sound guys are. I don't know who my sound guy is. We got a new sound guy. We do? Yeah, Jeff. Hold on. Hey, Jeff, say hi. Hey, how's it going? This is Jeff. And what you guys... What you guys need to know about Jeff is that he spells it G E O F F. That's an accepted spelling. I don't. I don't think it is. To be honest, I don't like it. I'm not going to say yeah. I agree with it. I'm not on board. This guy's juggling over there. I also wonder: is it Jeff? Is it Geoff? It confused me for the longest time. I think the first time I encountered. Uh, well, I saw his name on the email, and I said, "Is hey, this your announcement?" <laughs> I said, hey, uh, Geoff, I'm Nick, this is Brendan. And he said, no, it's actually pronounced Jeff. I said, you're fired. <laughs> it's like Donald Trump. Just like the D-man, getting things done. He's good at making deals. You got to admit yeah, that. He does. Love him or hate him, he's great at he making makes, deals. He'll, he, and the deals that he makes, too, I think are so significant for our country and for us. Miss, miss, can we ask you a question for the do you know who Jason Siegel? See, everybody's in a very, in a big yeah. hurry here in New York. Times Square is tough. You know, we should maybe bust. Okay. Make some money here. They're really going crazy. That guy's just, he's like, uh, I got can't really guitar. tell what he's doing. Okay. Miss, excuse me, miss. Do you know this that where that M&M store is? There used to be a strip club there. Miss, miss, my friend Nick's gonna play a song on the guitar. Oh, I'm on fire. 
we could do, we could do a whole Alvin and the Chipmunks podcast. Podcast the Squeakwell. This is all they do for Alvin and the Chipmunks. Yeah. So easy. It's pretty loud here in Times Square. Do you want to do the song again, but in full Chipmunk? Yep. Let's turn this up all the way. I think, check, check, you can hear us out there. Hey, everybody, it's me, Brendan Chipmunk and Nick Chipmunk. Hey, little girl, is daddy home? Does it go and leave you all alone? No, no. Want to cool my desire? Well, I'm on fire. Tell me now, baby, is it good to you? <laughs> do you do the things I do? Oh no. Want to cool my desire? Miss! Miss! Look! Well, I'm on fire. It's like someone took a nap. Baby, edgy and dull, he dug a six-inch ballad through the middle of my soul. And now I wake up, my sheets are soaking wet. There's a freight train running through the middle of my head. Wanna cool my design? Well. Let's call the bookstore back and see if they have any books about chipmunks. I hope they don't have caller ID. That could have been the best thing we've ever done. <laughs> well, isn't that... That's Alvin and the Chipmunks. They sing songs, but with this voice. They love Springsteen. They love all of it. They have caller ID. Hey, hey sorry, we're out here in Times Square. It's hard to hear you. Do you have any books about chipmunks? That's an appropriate response. <laughs> Let's call somebody in Missouri. See, people in Missouri. Let's get out of Times Square here for a minute. They won't relate to uh, New York. Let's go back inside. We were in. Let's get out of chipmunk mode for a second. Yeah, sure. Okay, if you want to. I mean, I honestly, I felt more comfortable in chipmunk mode. I think no, we could do this. Could be a full chipmunk podcast. We'll step out of it for a minute just to give everybody a second to uh, collect themselves, go make a sandwich. I don't know if the listeners are going to like the chipmunks, to be honest. Uh, I, think it, I think it's too much for them. I don't, you know, you can't really tell until you try it. I, 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 you know, I saw this kid the other day. What a gorgeous little boy he was. And his name was Seth. And, and I said, hey, how do you want to die? You know? Uh huh. And he said, Lava. I mean, that would be a pretty. I said, quick. buddy, that's a tough one. Yeah, that, that sounds like you know, you're, it's you're gonna you're gonna start your feet are gonna start burning. Well, you're just gonna feel the whole thing happen, but I imagine it's over pretty quickly. I mean, I feel like the lava starts at the feet, and then it. You probably can't walk anymore. I wonder how fast it would. Well, let's. You and know so what? I we'll call. You, yeah. There's a bookstore here. Let's ask him about lava. We'll ask about lava, how fast it would disintegrate your foot. It might be one of those things where it's so... I told him I wanted to die in a video game. Thank you for coming. How can I help you? Hey, how's it going? This is Brendan. I'm here with Nick. Hey, how you doing? Do you know who Jason Siegel is? Um, yes. Okay. Do you have any books on lava? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. I don't think so, to actually. We're trying to figure out... <clears throat> just how... Like on actual, like on actual lava? Yeah, like volcano lava. 
Um, like if if you were to step into lava, like how fast you would die, or how fast you're like was just like ankle level. Would it take your foot off immediately, or would it take a minute and would it hurt? <laughs> That's a great question. Um, let me. I'm looking at our science section. Okay. I don't see anything right now. Well, specifically on lava. Because we feel like um, if you like if you like step into it, like if you're like stepping into a river or something, you know. Right. Then. I th- yeah, would it just be instantaneous? Would it just take your foot right off? Like if you put, uh, you know, like, uh, um, what do they call it cotton candy? You know, when you put that in water, it just disintegrates right away. Right. No, I mean, I'm not seeing any books on volcanoes or lava at the moment. What so about that is a great question that I do not know an answer to. Okay. Well, um, do you, are you busy? Um, why do you ask? <laughs> do you have a lot of customers? There. Right uh, we now. do have some customers in here right now. Yes. That's yeah. That, that's it. I guess we don't want to. We don't want to waste your time. Do you have any books on cotton candy? Do we have any books on cotton candy? Off the top of my head, I am not sure. Let's look in our. Because that, I mean, cotton candy. The second water touches it, I mean, it's gone. It's gone. But it sweetens up the water. And probably colors it as well. Yeah, that's you get, true. You get blue or, you know, depending blue or on the pink. color. Yeah. yeah, I'm not seeing any books on cotton candy either. I'm looking, and I don't see any just on candy in general either at the moment. Okay. Do you, you guys really... have any books on Jason Siegel? Ooh. Do we he have any books book. on Jason Siegel? Yeah, he yeah. wrote a book. Then, let's see. Was that hold music for a second? No, that was her doing a Oh, I thought I heard music. Oh, yeah, that was mine. I paused it. You would have been hearing the um, wonderful soundtrack of Lord of the Rings. Oh, my goodness. Do you want to hear one of our songs? I mean, sure. Okay. Did you ever see the Alvin and the Chipmunks movie? Um, yes. You're familiar Wait, with them, though, right? One. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, this is uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks doing Bruce Springsteen. Okay. Hey, little girl, is your daddy home? To go and leave you all alone, no, no. I want to cool my design. Whoa, I'm on fire. Very nice. Tell me now, baby, is it good to you? Does he do to the things I do? Oh, no. I want to cool my design. And yeah, I'm not seeing any books here on Jason Siegel. I'm no. on fire. You're, um, well, that's okay. We'll, we'll let you, you you seem very, very nice. You're, um, very helpful. Thank you. Yeah, you've really put up with a couple of hooligans, you know, that we're, we're, we're f- from London and we are big soccer fans. How long okay, have you lived perfect. there in, uh, Missouri? I'm sorry? How long have you lived in Missouri? Uh, I've been here for quite a while. I have no more questions. Okay, I, I, I do, actually. Is there anything else? <laughs> Nick has one more so, question. Uh, oh, okay. One more question. Are you still there? She hung up. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. It's, yeah. It was really... We, we could have left on a good note. That lady seemed really nice. Yeah. I should... Um, she said she knew who Jason Siegel was she right did. away. Yeah. yeah. But the original, the first first lady. Oh, okay, okay. We didn't ask. Let's call... Can we call the Missouri just kind of like... Um, is there just like a number for Missouri? Let's see. Missouri phone number. Uh, you know what I was thinking? What are you thinking, Nick? What's going on in that head of yours? What makes you tick? Three... Three is odd, right? Three? Yeah. I mean, Th- I know five and seven are two, but like three is weird because it's, it's like pretty good. sidewards W. You're uh, so d- Nick's, Nick's turning this into an open <laughs> mic. 
We just, I'm sorry, listeners. I, I would edit it out, but it's, I'm not going to be able to. Because I need to show everybody. Everybody needs to see that. Everybody needs to see Nick trying to do something when Brendan's doing nothing except looking shit up. I'm just, I'm dragging the podcast down. Let's see if, let's literally see if they'll hire us for a show right now. It's Janet, can I help you? Hey, Janet, is this, uh, do you know who Jason Siegel is? Um, no. That's I okay. Don't. We're calling about the, I'm, uh, this is Brendan. I'm here with Nick. Hey, how you doing? Okay, hi. And uh, we were calling about the comedy jamboree. Uh-huh. We were, are you guys hiring? Well, let me transfer you over to the box office, okay? Oh, my God, thank Great, you. Thank you. Hurry up. This is Mindy, how may I help you? Hey, Mindy, how's it going? This is Brendan. I'm here with my partner, Nick. Hey, Mindy, how you doing? I'm doing okay. Do you know who Jason Siegel is? I do. Um, that's awesome. Are you guys hiring? Um, I'm. You, for depends on what for. Who books the shows there? We have uh, several different shows here. It's the Comedy Jamboree. We have Comedy Jamboree. We have a Grand Jubilee. We have Down Home Country, Branson Country USA, New South Gospel. We're looking Ozark to Country, Ozark Country. I mean, in Ozark Gospel. Um. Well, I'm Which here, one would you want? I'm the Comedy with, Jamboree is what we were yeah, trying to get hired for. My name's Nick Thune, and I'm here with my associate, uh, Brendan Walsh. Hi, hi, hi! hi. Hmm? And um, we are professional comedians. We were wondering if we could mm-hmm. do a show there. Well, here, we could do... Are you familiar with Alvin and the Chipmunks? Um, yes. I, uh, probably, though, the best person for you to talk to would be... Well, the best person for you to talk to right now is Alvin the Chipmunk. Can we get in touch with them? Would you like me to maybe transfer you to one of their... their that would be um, great. Yeah, that would yeah. be great. Okay. Hold just a moment. Okay, hurry up. This is... I'm unable to come to the phone right now. If you'll message. please leave your name, Chipmunk message. phone number, and a brief message, I'll be happy to get back to you. Alvin, Alvin, Alvin Simon, Simon and Keith are ringing after the tone. Oh, then hang up when you are finished, or press any key for further options. Hi, Alvin. This is Alvin the Chipmunk. And I'm Simon. Theodore is not here right now. A cat got him, and we're trying to find him, and we were hoping to come perform on your comedy jamboree. And we love comedy, but we also like ice cream. We do a little ice cream rap. I don't, I don't know, know if you're familiar, familiar with us. Yo, 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 what's up? up? This, this is Alvin, Alvin the Rapping Chipmunk. I like ice cream. This, this is Simon. Simon. And I'm in the back. We, we got, got something to tell you. Uh, 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 uh. uh. Here, here we go. go. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I like ice cream. It always makes me scream. All the flavors are supreme. Ice cream tastes sweet. I think it's neat. The way it's nice and cold and I drop it on my feet. I like to take ice cream and put it in my couch. I put ice cream in my couch and I sit on my couch. Couches are cool. I got a recliner. It's a chair. And it leans back in through the air. And I do some ice cream all over my body. I smear it all over my body. He doesn't really do that. He's making stuff up. He takes the ice cream and he puts it in his mouth. Simon, no! Come on, man, you're ruining my rap. I really do. I rub it all over my body and I love ice cream. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Everybody yell if you think ice cream's great. Hey, ha! Ice cream's great. Just think it, it'd be, be good, good for that. Uh, <laughs> we're out, we're out just, of Times Square. Just so the, uh, yeah, everybody walking back. 
walking by hears us yelling about, uh, where the fuck? How do I stop this? Oh, my God. Now we're back in Times Square. <laughs> Chipmunk ice cream wrap. See, I think we the could. Chipmunk, wonder, that, that could be our best piece of work we've ever done. Well, this is, it's just as professional as, as hundreds, a, a movie, movie that's that grossed hundreds of millions of dollars. Multiple squeakles. <laughs> um, and I don't even say that in have, jest. We have They're, friends that work on it, so we don't want to make fun of it. Who? David Cross? Yeah. He's your friend? Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I can't say that I know him. Oh. I met him at a party once. He was nice enough. Laughed at one of my jokes. It wasn't even a joke. I was making fun of somebody or something. And he, he laughed in the kitchen. Um, I love David Cross. Yeah. I, I don't know him personally. He was nice to me that one time. And by nice, he laughed at me making fun of someone. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't that like if someone laughs at, you know, when you're doing something funny, it's like, okay, that person's fine. That's how I treat baristas. If they laugh at your jokes. Let's call a barista. When you run some material by them, you're ordering coffee. Yeah. Well, my point is, this chipmunk thing, we could make a, like a bootleg album in the chipmunks album. Mm-hmm. Called Harry... Well, no, it's Alvin... Wait, it's called Alvin and the Chipmunks, right? But Alvin's a chipmunk. We could do like all like Harry... Dave ne- is the guy. Harry Nielsen Dave and the songs. chipmunks. Harry Nilsson songs? Yeah. That's a good idea. As, as Alvin and the, the chipmunks. The chipmunks sing Harry Nilsson. <laughs> I mean, we could put it out. I think if you charge money, they can't sue you. Or if you don't charge money, they can't sue you. This could be the weirdest episode we've ever had. It's, it's a theater of the mind. Yeah. You know, it's... I mean, technically, everything's working fine. <laughs> Everything seems to be on point. Um... I think, yeah, we need to make more phone calls is the problem. Are we still doing good cop, bad cop, or no? Yeah, we could do that. Okay. Don't be too bad, though. I'll be a bad boy. You don't want to be mean. I want to be a bad boy. Okay. I'll just be apologizing for you. Nobody's at this (laughs) one. Should we leave your message, then? Two is unavailable. Please leave your message after Mm -hmm. the tone. When done, hang up or press the button. Yeah, I'll be a good cop. You start off. Uh, okay, listen, uh, guys, I, this is Brendan. I'm here with Nick. He's very steamed. Please just hear him out. And uh, I don't want him to go too crazy here. Just he- hear what my friend Nick has to say. Here's what I want to know. Where were you guys last night? 7.15 p.m. Okay, guys, come on. You just answer. No. Just answer the question. Call him I want to know where you were at at 7.15 oh, okay. p.m. This is what I was afraid of. Okay. You know Linda? Oh boy, guys, just tell him. Tell him. Do about you Linda. know Linda? Oh no, he's going full. L I N D A. He's going full Linda. chipmunk. Linda, guys, he's. Have you met Linda? Oh my God, he's bad chipmunk cop. Oh. Guys, this is now. now I'm, I'm turning, turning into, into a chipmunk. chipmunk. Oh, oh my God. God. I, I want to know, know if you know who Linda, Linda was and if you know, know where she was at 715 last night. Do you know who Linda is and where she was? Because I want to know if you know Linda. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Answer the Goddamn Question Show. Okay, now here's the thing. Do you want to go home tonight? Here's the thing. Do you want to spend the rest of your life in a six by four foot cell? Tiny little cell. For your, your, your bunk may be a midget. And do you know Linda? And he's Linda, and you'll be laying there every night saying, Man, I should have told that guy about Linda. But I had to keep my big stupid trap shut. Yeah, yeah that's right, I'm a bad cop too hey, now. Hold on a sec. Hey, listen. We've all met a Linda, okay? Don't. We're not here to make you feel bad about knowing Linda, but we want to fucking know if you oh are. Oh my god, it's 7 15 last night! No, he's freaking out, he dropped an F bomb! Call us back! I mean, I'm telling you, you know, maybe I think listening to this podcast. Uh huh. I think the chipmunks. I have think you ever very, listened? I've I've never listened to this podcast. I have to listen to it every time I edit it. I know. I have to. It's part of my job. I think you're probably our number one listener. 
Maybe. <laughs> I think you. I'm definitely in the top three. <laughs> Unless you count Dave, then in the top four. <laughs> I want to know about Linda. I don't know who this Linda person is. <laughs> she gets to the bottom of it. Maybe. Hey, is this Linda? Yeah. Hi. Do you know who Jason Siegel is? Jason Siegel? Yeah. I don't think so. Oh. Um, so your name's Linda? Well, my name's Lindsay. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, we were... But... Okay. Because Nick is... Well, this is Brendan. I'm here with Nick. Hey, how you doing? Okay. How are you? We're doing all right. We Do you guys make uh, like espressos and stuff? Um, yeah. Hmm, cool. Do you have any of those flavored uh, creamers? We don't have um, flavored creamers, but we do have like a variety of syrups that we just mix in there. So. Do you guys have like um, like oat milk or anything? Have what? Oat milk. Oat milk. Oat milk. No, we've got um. As far as milks go, we've got just regular skim, almond, soy, um, and I believe uh, coconut milk. You said you have olive milk? Almond. Mm. Did you ever have olive milk? I mean, we don't have any of that. <laughs> do you guys do like pastries and all that stuff? We do have pastries, yeah, like muffins, mini bread, um, Brownies, cookies, I'm a like big that. well, I'm a big muffin guy. Right on. <laughs> um, what's the biggest muffin you've ever seen? The biggest mu- muffin I've ever seen. Yeah, did you ever go to like a muffin contest or anything? I have not. No. <laughs> See, I would think if I had a coffee shop, I would make my employees go on a retreat to a muffin contest once a year. Yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> Judging muffins. I'm totally. I'm, I'm a fan of that. I mean, because sure. I like. Because if, if it were me, by the way, and this, this is Nick. This is Nick speaking. Brenda, That's Nick. I'm Brendan. That's Brendan. <laughs> you know, I'm like uh, like I said, I'm a big muffin guy. But I, for me, blueberries are kind of excessive in muffins, and I want to know what's the biggest blueberry you've ever seen inside a muffin. Yeah, you know, I can't. I don't. I couldn't tell you. Did you ever see <laughs> I'm those? I'm not a huge blueberry person. Either, you're not a big. So. You're not. A, you're not a huge blueberry person. No. See, if I owned that place, I would uh, make Linda. I would make you and all your employees go to uh, pick blueberries <laughs> once a year on a company uh, team building retreat. You know what? I would love that though. Even even though blueberries aren't my favorite, that would be fun. <laughs> Their blueberries aren't your favorite, and and I know. Are you a big raspberry girl or no? Not real. I'm like a strawberry, pineapple, that kind of coconut. So you never do like, do like they, you never like take one raspberry and put it on each finger and pretend like you have raspberry I, fingers or anything. I have done that before, yes, but okay. But wait, would you not say my favorite? When you say pineapple, you're just talking. You're a fan of the fruit, or are there pineapple muffins? <laughs> oh man! Is there a pineapple muffin? I've, I've never had a pineapple muffin, though. No. Oh, my God. I, do you like pineapple on your pizza? I, I love pineapple oh, on my pizza. That's oh. the wrong answer. I know. No, that's the right answer. I don't. I'm not oh, one good, of those guys. Uh, well, Brendan is... The, you got to understand this about him. So we're kind of, he's kind of the bad cop, and I'm kind of the good cop, and I'm going to tell you. Right, yeah. right. The pineapple is good. We're not cops, pizza. though. No, well, we, we We're are. not undercover cops, Linda. No, that's okay. If you are, that's great. Well, we're not, okay? Okay. <laughs> Do you know where we can buy marijuana? I don't know. I know. Did you ever try it? Not the person to ask. Did you ever try marijuana, Linda? Um, I have not. You've never tried it? Actually. How old are you? No, I am 22. <laughs> that's all right. You don't have to try okay. it. Don't be peer pressured into it. But are you yeah. are you just saying that because you think we're cops? Because we're not cops. No, I, I really, I really have never tried it. Because we're I not. I accidentally one time accidentally took a bite of a wee brownie without realizing that's what it was. But I've never, never had it. <laughs> uh, so you have had it though. You've had the weed brownie. What did it do to you? Um, well, Make it you... wasn't enough to really do much to me. So I just I think okay. I slapped it off probably. <laughs> So, um, do you, wait, can I ask you this? Do you like ice cream? Yeah. I love ice cream. Yeah. 
What if we told you that right around the corner is an ice cream truck? I would go get some. But so wait, so you're saying you did eat a, a marijuana brownie before? Just a bite? If I have had one before? You, but you did take a bite of a marijuana brownie? I did, yeah. When I was like 16, probably. Okay, so here's the tough thing is that we are actually police officers. Yeah, that's okay. And the past is in the past. N- well, well, that's the past catches up with you sometime. Sometimes, so we're we're undercover cops. Actually, we're undercover. Do you ever see those Alvin and the Chipmunks movies? Yes, I love those. You do you really the squeakles and everything? Yes. Oh, do you want to hear a? Do you want to hear one of the tracks from one of the songs? I'm sure. Now here's a question too: If if Alvin is a chipmunk, right? Uh-huh. So why is it called Alvin and the Chipmunks? Shouldn't it be called Dave and the Chipmunks? Because Dave's the guy. Ooh, interesting. Okay. That's very thought-provoking, really. It's a Bruce Springsteen song sung by Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> hey, little girl, is your daddy home? Does he go and leave you all alone? On a cold night as I Whoa, I'm on fire Tell me now, baby, is it good to you? Just one more verse See the things I do On a cold night as I Oh, oh, I'm on fire. What'd you think of that? It's like someone took a knife. Oh no, now there's a regular singer. It's over. Oh, no. That was super nice. Thank you for that. Um, you've been, uh, how long have you worked there? How long do I work there? Here? How long have you been worked? Are we on speakerphone now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have worked here for a couple months. Okay. Well, are you're doing we the, a great are job. Are we the best phone call you've ever gotten there? Yeah, this is actually making my day great. <laughs> that's what we like to hear. You know, yeah. and that's, that's a good... If you could do a Yelp review, we each have our own Yelp pages. Um, 9-11. Uh, <laughs> well, there's... Uh, there is, uh, don't give 9-11 a good review okay. on Yelp. Uh, they have a page The 9-11 for that. Yelp review is really bad. They're terrible. Um, yeah. Okay, well, we'll send a squad car over and uh, have some officers ch- uh, question you about your marijuana use. Okay, sounds good. Okay, thanks, I'm Linda. I love the story. I've, okay. I've told cops before, actually. Oh, boy. Well, you haven't met uh, Timmy and Tommy Castle, the twin <laughs> wrestling cops. Oh, man. Okay, Linda, right. we love you. We love you. Well, thank you. Thank you for this phone call. Okay, love you. <laughs> love you, guys. Okay, bye. That's the best phone call we've had on this show. These people from Missouri, let's call a couple more Missouri, because like Linda and the bookstore lady, mm-hmm. two of the most pleasant women I've ever spoken yeah. to in my life. And well, I'm including my mother, my grandmother, and that makes me sick. my wife, and my daughter. And you've never met my Aunt Syl. Aunt Syl sounds like an uptight whore. N- okay, that's not. That. How do you spell Syl? You honestly just crossed a line. S I L, right? S I L. S Y L. Oh, right. Sylvia. Missouri Recording Studios? Yeah, let's see if we can get a good song going. It seems like. Uh, the Chipmunks thing feels. Feels like, like professional, professional chipmunking. chipmunking. <laughs> it doesn't feel like professional chipmunking. I'm, I'm telling, telling you, we, we could. <laughs> The thing is, is, I think they've actually made albums. Yeah, they have. That's what I'm saying. We just do our own as well. Yeah. I mean, they probably sell fine. Yeah. Uh, here's a recording studio. I'm surprised, uh, Linda. That was uh, pretty mind blowing. Yeah. That she That's said. I best. mean, she said her name was Lindsay, though. Yeah. But she but did answer. She to, did answer. This is to Linda. Linda. I gotta stop drinking coffee. I think I didn't drink. I had to stop. Did you? 
Yeah, I am. I'm on beta blockers. Does. Hello? Oh, hello? Hey. Morning. Hey, how's it going, man? My name's Dave. Uh, and I. Uh, do you know who Jason Siegel is? I'm sorry? Do you know who Jason Siegel is? Uh, not, not off the top of my head. Oh, that's fine. Um, my name's Dave, and I manage a, um, a, uh, like musical it's like group. a recording trio. Yeah. And we were going to maybe come in to record a song. If we could do that. Sure. When are you guys looking at doing this? Well, here's the thing, and it's going to sound crazy, but the band that I manage, they're actually chipmunks. My name is Alvin. I'm Simon. And this is Theodore. Hit it! That's cute. Come see about me I'll be alone Dancing, you know it baby Tell me Your troubles and doubts Giving me everything Inside and out Love strange So real in the dark Think of the tender things That we were working on Show a change May pull us apart when the light gets into your heart, baby, don't you forget about me, forget about me. Go, 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 don't you forget about me, forget about me. So that's kind of like, this is how it is, well, this is the band. Dave's our manager. Oh, he hung up. <laughs> It's hard to sing well with uh, when you're like a chipmunk. I mean, it's hard to sing well at all, to be honest. I feel like I can carry a tune. No, you do have a good voice. I have a voice that um, I mean, sounds capable. like shit. I have. Uh, <laughs> I can sing better than um, who's the guy I always challenge to to a singing contest. He's a famous singer. He's in a TV show now where he plays like a cop and Tony Danza plays his dad who's a robber or something. David Bowie? Yeah, David Bowie. <sighs> um, Josh Groban. You can sing better than Josh Groban? I think so. Because it's all just this. See, I feel like I can sing better than Michael <laughs> Buble if I, if I tried. What does he sound like? He sounds like shit. Hey, Theodore just got here. Uh, th we got uh, another chipmunk here. Hey, how's it going, Theodore? Hey, hey what's, what's going, going on, guys? guys? Uh, we're just trying to get a record deal for this is uh, Dave. I'm your manager, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah thanks, thanks for meeting with me. me. Yeah, that's well, I'm your manager, so I'm trying to get you a record deal. Yes. Um, any, any progress on that? Or? Well, I'm trying to find. Uh, do you know the I'm song? I'm a singer. I'm singing all the time. Do you know the song Hero by Enrique Iglesias? I, I think so. so. Is I don't know it either. Yeah. Well, I, I was going to find a karaoke. What's a good karaoke song that you'd want to sing? Um, Girls, Girls Just Want to Have fun, fun, maybe? That's a good one. And maybe we change it to Chipmunks Just Want to Have Fun. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Or Chipmunks Just Want to Have Nuts. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is okay. <laughs> just Want to Have Fun. Uh, karaoke. Theodore, are you drinking again? That's what I think the, uh... Um, I don't know how to answer that. It's okay. Well, there's, it's a pretty easy question. All right, let's call, uh... I'll take that as a yes. Let's call, uh... This sounds like a cool place. They probably recorded some Dave Grohl stuff here. I'm in full ketosis. I'm, I'm in full, full ketosis, ketosis right, right now, now, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm, I'm recording studio. 
Hello? Leave a message, and we'll call you okay, well, we can leave a message. This is going to knock his socks off. Let Please Dave... Text us at the same number. Did you record this in a sewer pipe? At gmail.com, period. Thank you for calling, and we look forward to speaking with you. Bye-bye. At the tone, please record your message. Yeah. When yeah. you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, this is Dave. I'm a manager of a singing group. Hear me out. It's going to sound crazy, but uh, the group is uh, its three chipmunks. Just I'll let I'll let the singing to do the talking you guys listen call me back if you if you like if you like what you hear i think we got a hit on our hands here we got the next big thing yeah. having, having fun come on everybody, everybody put, put your hands, hands together. together it's alvin theodore and simon i come home in the middle like my mother says when you go Do you know who Jason Seagull is? We know who he is, and we want to give you a little quiz. Do you know who Jason Seagull is? 